As we approach the end of the year, many of us are planning our New Year's resolutions and work goals for the year. Our top 10 list this week is all about your first of the year habits. What do you do to set up the year for success? And as usual, we have had a great list of things to do before the year ends. And you can do some of these at the beginning of the year if you don't want to feel too much pressure before the end of this year. Our first answer for our top 10 comes from Carol Cambridge from Glendale, Arizona. Carol says that she is giving up one belief that no longer serves her. And she says this year she's giving up procrastination. What is a belief that you would be best to get rid of? Carol inspired me. So I'm giving up blame in 2024 for me. Blame doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who did what or why anymore. It's a great way to start our list and a great way to start the year. Our second and third ideas come from Dana Hoffman from Cleveland, Ohio. Dana is ensuring that all of the paperwork is filed so that 2024 is a clean start. Now, I'm also taking some time this week to do the same thing. I don't want any clutter, any piles or messy folders online. Now, Dana added our third idea as well, which I think we can also benefit from. Dana is making sure that her relationships are in order for the next for the next year. So for me, for her, so for Dana, that means hosting family for the holidays. For me, I'm reaching out to people I haven't spoken to in a while to ensure that we connect and recharge our relationship for the new year. Number four is from Julie Perrine from Indianapolis, Indiana, and Julie uses cultivate what matters power sheets goal planner and has been using that for four years and she says she is a huge fan she explains that this is the best thing for accountability as it allows her to track her progress to completion and allows course correction if needed it's not just a today and done task but one that keeps her focused throughout the entire year Elizabeth White-Peters from Stratford, Connecticut brings us number five. Elizabeth takes time to review the past year's calendar, ensures that all of her personal time off requests are in, and adds in all the birthdays and anniversaries to the New Year's calendar. So just so you know, Elizabeth, my birthday is September 24th. (laughs) Shelley Walsall does a similar task, only it's focused on all the important meetings for the year. This allows everyone to streamline and reduce some of those recurring meetings. And with the initial plan in place, it's pretty easy to adjust as the year unfolds. Number seven is from Michelle Frame from Calgary, Alberta. And we all need to put this on our to-do list. Michelle says that she makes peace with her flaws. Look back at the past year and make peace. I like that advice a lot. Lori Jo Jaycox from New Jersey likes to color code her agenda. So it's a quick glance to know what is what. Now we can take some of the ideas from above like birthdays, anniversaries and meetings and give them their own color. Now Lori Jo says her daughter is a specific blue that her daughter picked out. And as you know, I'm a huge color coding fan. So organizing what you know at the start of the year along with color coding is a fabulous organizational tool. Lori Joe also provided several tips and brought us number nine as well. She reserves the first day of work for this time. It's January 2nd as a planning day. She has blocked the day so that the entire day can be spent planning. Now, if you can do that, you won't regret it as this list gives you 10 ideas on things you need to do on that day or any other day that you pick. And number 10 comes from Carol Fitzgerald from Jacksonville, Florida. Carol uses the holidays to relax, relate, and release. And this allows her to come into the new year with an open and clear mind, ready to tackle what is ever is in store with no expectations. So clearly, we need to get ready for the new year and get ourselves organized to face it fresh and with an optimistic focus. I hope you take the time to get on the right track for 2024.